What is four or five years in nursing school if I will not be able to uh, feed my family? If Ooh, thanks for the coffee, mommy. Right, welcome back, delicious peeps, to our coffee break. And um, this is where we actually talk about important things in life, sensible matters under the sun, not just about nursing. So if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing it now, smashing that red button and activate the notification bell so you will be instantly updated when we have a coffee break. So this time, we're going to talk about pursuing the nursing profession I know and you know that we have a lot of nursing graduates back home but thousands of people are not practicing nursing but why and should they pursue the nursing career now we'll talk about it first question let's answer several questions now so what are the reasons why our colleagues especially back home didn't pursue nursing career well i know as well and you know that it is the low salary for nurses that is the biggest and major factor why many nursing colleagues or nurses are not doing or not practicing their career of course low salary for nurses in many institution medical institution whether it be whether it will be private or um in some government hospital the pay is better i would say but in general the pay for nurses is not enough the salary that is being provided is not enough it will not be able to uh, actually you know raise a family if you have two or three kids it's fairly impossible so yeah it's not possible to sustain living because another thing is that Many nurses are even required, especially like three years, five years, ten years ago, many nurses are required to pay to have an opportunity to work in a, in a medical institution, in, in a hospital that's called volun that, that is not just voluntarism, that's another thing, but many people, many nurses need to really pay a certain amount just to be able to be in the hospital to wear that white uniform to wear that very nice scrub suit they need to pay and that's very sad also um, there's a lot of trainings that has to be completed first before being able to practice in the field and that costs some about uh, some amount of money another thing that i thought of that could be a factor why some didn't pursue nursing is because of advanced age well i know i'm not talking about retirement age but many people feel insecure or hesitant when they are already like 30 plus or 40 plus and they're considering pursuing nursing yet they're thinking uh, is it still possible or parang nakakahiya na? they feel uncomfortable starting their career their nursing career at that age so there's a lot of factors really but the other question is why do they work in a different field well of course same reason why they didn't is also the firm the main reason why they moved to another field which is um they have better pay better compensation so many people actually of course are pressured by the uh, financial requirement not just of themselves but of course the people depending on them so we cannot blame our colleagues who opted to step out of the white field and then um, practice another career or pursue another path of career the sad thing is they 
don't really want it but they have to at least they are making themselves productive and useful in the community isn't it so that is something that is still commendable let us not blame or look down to our colleagues who are practicing a different profession or working in a different field because they're just they're trying what they can do they're trying their best to be of use to the community to be helpful to their family not just for themselves and of course another the reason is in some institution in some other places there are better work environment or better work condition because we know we understand that if you work in, in a hospital especially on the ward and you'll be looking after 30 at least 20 or 40 up to 50 patients that is very exhausting that is why nursing profession is very heroic because only those people with big hearts can really endure that sometimes they're saying that you know it's not about the money it's about really being able to be of help to other people in in a way that you are you are blessed you are trained to do especially if you're in the position of those people working on the ward handling 50 patients 40 and you can see a difference that you are actually creating in the life of those ones those sick ones those are sometimes the only driving driving force that they have to continue what they're doing to stay where they are but that is something that not everyone is actually ready to do not everyone signed for <laughs> doing this or pursuing this career others are saying this is another thing but others are saying that nursing is not for them well probably because taking nursing in college is not their choice probably they they felt obliged or forced to take nursing because that is the request or that is the choice of those people providing them money to go to college and then after graduation they they experience they face the reality of being outside of the world and it's very difficult to land a job in the nursing and to quick to get a decent pay so that is the reason why many chose a different field after finishing college or getting a degree or even passing the uh, licensure exam now the next thing the next question is where do they go i'm sure you're aware that many of our colleagues are are now successful in the field of ppo some are starting some are still developing they are uh, they're actually climbing the the, uh, the ladder the career ladder in bpo and they're doing really well not just financially but of course their performance wise they are very efficient because we know nurses we are not just flexible but we know how to communicate well with other people not to mention how efficient and proficient we are talking in english so that is the uh, main direction or one of the most common field where many nurses are actually settling in some do pursue the career of real estate those are the people selling condominiums selling properties selling houses or lots most commonly condominiums especially it's the economy of the philippines is booming there's a lot of condominiums being built and of course the marketing department requires a lot of people and the commission for each marketer or executive representative or executive marketing representatives the commission is really really attractive and not to mention the salary they're receiving that is where you if you work hard you earn more and like in nursing even if you work hard even if you put your 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 sweat your blood your heart your stomach and intestine the pay will not change that's a sad reality other fields or other other avenues where our colleagues went to are becoming medical representatives not just selling drugs or promoting drugs but also some instruments medical instruments medical services medical devices some of our colleagues are in that field and i have some friends as well not like in the bpo i have some friends in this uh, in this career who are really successful they are able to provide for their family they were able to uh, feed and build their own family and who would really choose to pursue nursing if they are already in that in that position 
where they are being sufficient and efficient in providing what they need to provide for those people depending on them. Others go to armed forces, others went to tourism like travel agency or become a flight attendant, going to cruise ships and others I have friends who are firefighters some went to a police department and some are now full-time parents which is of course as a matter of priority in life isn't it choosing that career to become a full-time parent those are the avenues those are the pathways that most of our colleagues have pursued or have actually uh, followed so why would they pursue nursing if they are successful in that field if they are doing well so that leads us to the question, why should you consider or why should you pursue your nursing career? Well, first of all, the main factor you need to consider, of course, is, is your heart really into this? I mean, even if money is the most outstanding reason why many nurses or why many people would like to go for nursing in college or want to pursue a nursing career and go abroad is it's because of the money isn't it but it requires big heart really to practice it even if you are technical like a dialysis nurse like an anesthetic nurse like a radiographer nurse sort of and it requires a heart because it requires like this heart that cares to other people because you're, you're handling lives, you're handling humans, so they depend on you. So it's quite practical for you to really um, put into consideration the good money you can earn abroad. That's why you want to start pursuing your career as a nurse, but it should also involve a heart to do it. So on the other side of things, the reason why you can pursue or you may want to consider pursuing the nursing your nursing career is because there's lots of opportunities opportunities and you you know that even our country the philippines is lacking enough number of nurses to be out there to be working in the hospital to be working in medical clinics medical institutions not to mention the uh, the demand abroad so there's lots of opportunities yeah so talking about lots of opportunities you may want to consider like exploring the avenues like tourism nursing for a certain role but you should be a nurse as you should be able to provide care as well for example like a flight attendant but in a post that you need to be like a nurse because you are a flight attendant attendant who is an advanced first aider or first responder so that is just one also yeah that is in aviation and also in other places like in hotels nurse in a hotel nurse in a resort in a big resort we're talking about a big resort here to become a community nurse to become a company nurse there's so there's a lot of work opportunities for nurses and they pay a decent amount of salary post for those positions and after that you can just easily explore other more advanced practice of nursing you if you want to go abroad you can consider that because many countries no longer require a long um, work experience like here in the uk you are no longer required by the board let they call it we call it nursing and midwifery council that is like the board of nursing in the philippines so they know the nmc or nursing and midwifery council no longer require the overseas nurses to have like an experience but it could definitely be an advantage especially in many particular trusts who will interview you or who will screen you so of course they want as much as possible those applicants who have recent experience working out there working in the hospital working in the field working in the clinic as a company nurse as a community nurse as an aviation nurse but as i said that is not required in black and white or in papers so um, you might ex you might have seen some people you might have experienced it yourself where where you've been told or where people are telling you that oh you have just wasted your four or five years in nursing school if you will not practice it but of course i know the reason and many are defending themselves that what is four or five years in nursing school if i will not be able to uh, feed my family if i will not be able to at least bring my kids 
to 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 cinema to to a, to a mall really <laughs> now of course you can bring them to the mall but of course to give them not a lucrative but at least a, a quality high quality of life if you will suffer working as a nurse and you will not be paid enough so what is 45 years isn't it and that is quite logical that is quite reasonable At times you just need to be more creative in finding ways on how you can find work opportunities opportunities as a nurse but still receive a good money and I can actually share my experience with you because that is one of the principles I had when I was starting now I know if the salary will be increased this problem will be solved this dilemma will be addressed if they will be able to pass and implement the law the minimum salary for nurses I'm sure many of you will be saying Pack, let's move on. Wash my uniform, mommy. Ikula mo yan. Ialmirol mo yan. <laughs> Papasok na ako. Magna nurse na ako. I'll be going to the hospital. I'll start working as a nurse. If only the salary mandated by the law will be implemented. But I know many are still hoping. I myself am still hoping, of course, because I know how difficult the work of a nurse is. And we definitely we deserve a good compensation for that because we are risking not not just our license but our lives in what we're doing isn't it it's a complicated job it's a serious complicated job i know you know it the last factor that i'm gonna talk about the reasons why you may want to consider pursuing nursing career is because as i mentioned earlier if you have a good heart there's a lot of people out there a lot of citizens of the country needing your help needing your angelic hands to give them care to give them care to to implement the uh, the, med the medical plan because we are the uh, front the front liners when it comes to uh, getting in contact with patient and making the change creating the change of course through the help of our medical doctors but we are we are the front liners and they need us they need us at many levels community in general in many degrees of uh, medical practice they need us so those are the reasons think of i know it's not an easy decision it's, it is a major step for someone for a nursing graduate for a licensed nurse to uh, really make a change pursue nursing leave your current career if you're doing well but if you really want to do it there's a lot of ways and the next video i'm going to share with you how i started my nursing career because after graduating after passing the philippine licensure exam for nurses i didn't practice our profession straight away but i'll tell my story on the next video so we'll wrap this up here thanks for watching this video i hope you learned something out of it if you had more understand the understanding about the situation of our colleagues not practicing this uh, nursing profession and um i hope for those who are out there dreaming of pursuing this career and go abroad I hope you will be able to really study, think about it and put all of the things you need to consider into place to, for you to be able to come up with the best decision. I wish you all the best. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. And if you uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up. And as always, please share your smile and spread the love because, because life is delicious. delicious. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ooh.